Hi everyone, this is John Dickinson, and I'm about to share with you the power of Adobe Dynamic Link. Adobe Dynamic Link allows us to seamlessly move through multiple Adobe applications without having to waste time with any unnecessary intermediate rendering. So in this short but, believe me, powerful tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can save time using Adobe Dynamic Link between Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere Pro, and Adobe Encore. And before we start, I just want to say that Dynamic Link isn't new, but in CS5, it's faster than it's ever been before. But something to keep in mind is that Dynamic Link is only available as part of the Production Premium or Master Collection suites. So if you buy After Effects or Premiere Pro individually, you won't have access to this feature. All right, so here I am in After Effects and I've got this Photoshop document, which is a DVD menu. What I want to do is apply one of After Effects cool presets to this background image. So I'm going to use the mini flowchart just to navigate to that comp. Just press my right arrow key just to go to the image comp and press the space bar to open that. And it's the background layer, so I'm going to select that and twirl down animation presets. And under image special effects, I'm going to choose the bad TV1 warp preset. That puts a cool warping effect on the background. Let's just twirl these up. Now we've got a bit of a problem here on the top left where it's warping and we can see the edge. So I'm just going to grab this and scale it up. Okay. All right, that looks good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go to Premiere Pro and add a video file in this area here. All right, so how do we bring an After Effects project into Premiere Pro without rendering it? We go up to the File menu and choose Adobe Dynamic Link, Import After Effects Composition. And in this window, we navigate to where the project is. Here's my project here. When we click on it, we can see the compositions over this side. You see there are a lot of compositions in this project, but the one we want is this top one. And on this icon, you can see a little link here, and that signifies that this is a dynamically linked project. Okay, now I want to put this project behind this video footage. So I'm going to drag the video footage to video two, and I'm just going to scale it down. Let's just, in the effect controls, just scale it down. About that size, we can always fix that up in a moment. And now I'm going to take my dynamically linked composition and drag it to video one. Remember, I haven't rendered this. This has come live from After Effects. Okay, so there it is there. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. And there's our lovely video effect in the background. All right, now how do we take this across to Encore? That's pretty easy. All we do is go to the file menu and choose, once again, Adobe Dynamic Link. Send to Encore. And we get a new project option. I'm going to call this My Project. And click OK. And here's my After Effects comp and my Premiere Pro layer live inside of Encore with no rendering. Take a look over here in the Project panel. And once again, you can see that icon that shows that this is a dynamically linked file. OK, so what happens now if perhaps the client gets back to you and says, mm, it's looking great, but I don't really want that video effect. Well, if we'd rendered this, we'd have to go back to After Effects, turn the effect off, render the After Effects comp, bring it into Premiere, apply what we wanted to do in Premiere, render that, and then bring it back into Encore. And this is exactly the kind of workflow that Adobe Dynamic Link allows us to avoid. So check this out. Let's go back to After Effects, and we'll go back into our image comp. We'll delete our effects. We'll resize this layer back to 100. Looking good. Let's just go across to Premiere now, and you can see that that's quickly updated and the effect has gone. Now let's go across to Encore, and instantaneously that effect was removed. How cool is that? No rendering, and that change really just took us just a few seconds, whereas it probably could have taken us minutes or even longer if we had to do any pre rendering because we didn't have Dynamic Link. I think it's pretty obvious from that short demonstration the power of this great tool. Less rendering, simplifies your workflow, 
And what I love the best is it allows me to concentrate more on the fun parts of my workflow, like designing and creating. And it's definitely something you should be using as part of your Adobe Video workflow. This is John Dickinson. I'll see you in the next tutorial.